All right, guys, uh, I don't know if you remember a couple of videos ago, I was working in this tiny little three, three phase motor for a small aircraft and I rewind it and stuff like that. So I'll show you. I think I got some wire. This is more likely the wire, you know, it was in it. It's, that's the full length of the cycle, one, one meter exactly. And there's a multi braid wire, so what I did, I replaced the wire with a single braid wire. Which, uh, the wire I use, here we go, is I took one of those coils uh, from one of my pump that was damaged, and I used a side that was not damaged and stealing the wire from it. So it's perfect, you know. And I'm, I believe the side of the wire on that one is. Could be 25, could be 24, so I'm not too sure. But anyway, I want to show you how unbelievable this little thing produced. Is uh, here I got it hooked up to five, uh, four halogen, the 500 watt each, and so I got 2,000 watt of draw. So. But it will, it will not because my frequency in that is way high as uh, and, and said to be 60 Hertz. It's 1.6 kilohertz. But I will show you, uh, and my volt is not very high. It's only 26 volt coming out of the, of the, uh, of the generator. But I, with the, the 1.6 kilohertz, I'm turning that to uh, uh, you, uh, their um, uh, infrared heating bar. And it creates a lot of heat. You can almost boil water on it. So I'm going to just turn it on and... So you can show you all the draws, so the, 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 the amp meter is right here, so you'll be able to, to see it. Now here, you can almost boil water over that. And now it's 200 and some degrees. And, uh, again, can you see the, the, the amperage? Now this little guy here, with those tiny little wire, only a, a single wire coming out, they won't get hot at 5 amps. They will stay like this, I can run it for at least 4 hours straight the other day. And uh, I came back and everything was just below normal temperature. Right? Now I'm turning this motor with a very <coughs> Torque efficient, but really not efficient when it comes to amp. This is a three-phase uh, uh, helicopter uh, RC motor, which is uh, they're really they're hard to pig on amp. But uh, you could do the same thing with uh, something with draws, like I would say maybe 100 watts from 120, a small motor with high RPM, 15,000 RPM, and uh, you would literally run the motor, this whole unit, with about I would say maybe three quarters of an amp from the wall and that's what you would produce on the load with this little generator 5.3 amp now i'm going to disconnect that and i'm going to reconnect it to a, a big set of fog light everybody know about fog light you have to watch out those are hot and <clears throat> so i'm just gonna show black white make sure that right and uh, I'll show you the not LED light, those things, the, the old good old fashioned. Maybe bring them up close to the. Uh, good old fashioned allergen light, fog light. Right? So they're not LED, they're just the old fashioned fog light. And they're PIA. That's the brand of the light. They're very, very bright. So. Here we go, we're gonna, and we'll be able to see how many amp they, they use those things to run. Oh. <laughs> there you go, folks. This tiny, tiny, and when I mean tiny, just to give you an idea what tiny is, this is a big lighter. And that's the generator here. It's spinning and I'm putting those light right now the the, 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 the burning at uh, 3.9 amp almost 4 amp to run and that little guy powered that like it's now tomorrow I did a test 
I go over 10 amp on the peak on that on that new on that new generator. But just to tell you, the generator is not the right function for a generator, but it produces a lot of volt, but it's not. I'm gonna now you guys saw the number, I'm gonna take this thing apart so you see it's no it's no uh Houdini on and I need this tiny little generator there, alright? I'm just taking that apart so you guys can see the inside the motor. So it's no debunking and stuff like this. Uh, anybody want to debunk that one? Be my guess. Now, okay, so I can see, oops, there, that's the motor I use, it's a 12 legs, three phase motor, and I rewind it with a single wire, and what I did is, you start where the wire start, right, left, right, left turn, right turn, and you keep on going all around to the wire match, so you get a full, this is, that's what you call an inverter. But that's a very miniature now. And <clears throat> in the magnet, as you can see, the magnet have lots of space and there's only 12 magnet now. I had to remove, to make a, an inverter out of a three-phase motor, you have to remove the magnet. Uh, normally a 12 will have 14 magnet and, uh, and they add two magnet every 12 legs on a stator. So, uh, but uh, that way you have to have the same amount of magnet in this, the, the leg on the stator. So, and you know, then you get a generator. So you can, you, you're producing, you pro, you're producing currents, you know, directly. If you don't have that, it doesn't make any, any currents. So, I mean, like, you know, it's, uh, you know, how, how to tell people, you know, you can make a lot of power. Well, this can make a lot of power right so I mean like you know it's 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 the best way to figure it out is try it on a small scale because small scale don't cost you know thousands of dollars you can do it for a fraction of the money but this, the result is the same you know the result will be the same and just on a larger scale and a bigger scale but when you can you can see something like this can literally and look I mean I have my finger in a stair it's not warm nothing it's, it's, it's like it's not even room temperature and uh, and, it, and it create that much energy but the problem with an out runner motor to or to make an inverter like this yeah, by using a drum is the wrong way to do a generator if you want to do a generator who is very efficient right you have to have the reverse of the drum motor you have to have the inside spinning inside of the armature and then you have to rewind the armature so anybody want to make a, a decent generator and get yourself you can buy the, the you know you can buy motor the 12 leg 12 leg stator but the end like you know they go from the, the, the outside to the center and if you wire those one properly and then you put a a, a 12 magnet uh, uh, cylinder inside, north, south, north, south, you know, so they all match to the 12 leg stator. Uh, it will be very little resistance, and you have to spin this thing really, you know, fast 10,000 RPM. You, you know, don't be afraid of spinning stuff. That's how your cogging and your resistance goes away. If you're turning something too slow, you know, and someone puts the brake on you, it, it, it will break. It's like, and it's almost like if you, if you have your foot down the gas on first gear. Right, and you're going in first gear and you're pressing the brake, the brake doesn't really work properly when you're keeping your foot on the gas and, and, and you know, it, it, the fighting, the motor will have more power than the brake. So, I mean, like, you know, and, and you have to apply more and more. That's exactly the system is happening when you come to a generator. Every time you put a demand on low voltage, you put the brakes on. Now, when you have a high, a high frequency generator, 
which 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 turn faster then and 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 when you have fre high frequency then you have to do the process of bringing the frequency down to whatever we can use for 60 hertz that's why you use a tra the, the big transformer but today i would just wanted to show you exactly how much power this tiny little thing is and i think i achieved that and uh and now i you what know. are your plans with this little thing now? That you Nothing. It's just garbage. <laughs> it's a toy, right? Mm -hmm. Part of uh, research. Yes, yeah, part of the research. You want to find out. Now we know if you use the, uh, the other one, which it will be on the outside and the leg on the inside for the same size, it would cost me barely nothing, nothing to turn that. And you can, make a, a, no, you can make a bunch of power. It's just, you know, Drum motor or drum generator, or uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, inverter, the not the way to go to produce power to produce it for house. It takes too much horsepower to turn it, so you have to go with an internal spin generator. But you do it with solid magnet, and you do it, you know, like an inverter. <clears throat> you wind it like an inverter, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, wrap on each legs. So. But I just want to let you know, a uh, very efficient little generator when it comes to a generator to producing amperage. And as you can tell, the light, they didn't, they didn't lack of amperage at all because I can make up, I, I test this thing up the other day and, and I pull 10 amp out of that thing, you know. So, I mean, like, you know, it, it, it's just amazing. At 10 amp, you get warmed. But at 5 to 6 amps, I can run this thing all day long. So... Well, hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and uh, we'll uh, see you comment. If they don't, get, they don't disappear before I have time to read it, as you know. All right, sorry, I, uh, I was going to show you something and I forgot I had it. Here is an inverter. That's a thousand, come from a generator, a thousand watt inverter. Very inefficient inverter. Uh, it doesn't produce much, thousand watt, and uh, it's fairly, fairly good size. I mean, they use a... Uh, 2.6 horsepower to turn this thing and on gas and and uh, of course it comes up on two different stage right so and the way they have the uh, the winding and stuff like this you know they make it very inefficient because I want that left right left right every single and if you look at that the way it's wind and the magnet is not enough magnet here compared to the stator uh, you can see how they go from one here and they go yeah they go from here to there from here to there it, it it's like totally screwed up on the wiring you know how they make their uh, their their uh, the winding and it's so inefficient and 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 everybody who's got an inverter generator they all know about efficiency you can't run a lot of stuff on it as is good for computer is good for lights, uh, not too much uh, draws on a light, but for lights, LED lights and stuff like this is perfect. But soon you put any any draw on it, uh, it's totally wrong. But it just to let you, I just want to show you how you know how this whole thing is, and it should be that's a 22 leg stator, and uh, it should be 22 magnet into it into the drum. As you can see, it's not 22 magnet here. So it's less magnet than the drum, so that's why the efficiency on it is terrible. And you're paying a uh, small inverter, some people they pay close to a thousand dollars plus for a small inverter. So just let you know, I when I, I talk about sounds, that's mean I test a lot of the stuff, so you know it's uh the way to wind it to have massive amount of juice, you gotta wind it up just like I did, left, right, left, right on every single legs. Then you will, and then you change the magnet, and you put, you put a magnet for each each uh, each legs, and then you have something is actually very powerful. I mean, uh, it <laughs> uh, five amp, folks, five amp generator. No, you know, what the hell? Five amp comes out of that tiny little thing. Plus, I pick it up to ten amps, and this here is a it's a five amp generator right there. Thousand watt. You know, that's all that thing can put up is five amp max. So I mean, like a little bit of difference, isn't it? If it's wired differently, a little different. A little different when you wire something differently. But uh, 
that's all I gotta say. So, you guys can make up whatever you feel like making up out of it, as usual, and uh, we'll take you from there. All right. Well, we have a a, a big a, a, a master genius in YouTube, who uh, he like to uh, think you know he knows about everything and he's debunking everybody and stuff like this. And yes, there's a lot of stuff people they put batteries and and high batteries and stuff like this. We all know that. But now he's trying to debunk, uh, you know, uh, the Bedini motor, uh, you know, my units, and and all, all kinds of. Stanley Meyer. Yeah, Stanley Meyer. Now the fuel cell is debunked. This guy is a fucking genius, literally. I mean, this guy can debunk everybody. That's mean he can actually make everything, you know. But uh, this guy actually, uh, I I throw a, um, a a challenge to him to come to my place and we can run the stuff. And then, you know, you can debunk it there and whatever you want to do it on the front of the camera. But he replied, finally replied back, and but he want me to go to his place. I have to bring my lab to this place. And, then, and because the, cow, the guy is too fucking coward to come up and knock on my door. See, that's the kind of people out there, when they put a challenge out there, they do everything they can to not to be able to come up to, the, to where the, the stuff is done. Like, you know, if, I've, if I have a, 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 a problem with a garage, do I tell the garage to bring his garage here to tell me his problem? I go to the goddamn mechanic in the garage and say, oh, we have a problem, right? But those fucking guys are too fucking chicken. They have no balls. They're a bunch of cowards. I mean, like, you know, I don't know. He, he sound, you know, some people say he sound Italian. For, I think he's from Iraq. He sound like an Iraqi to me with an Italian hat, right? So, I mean, like, you know, hell. I ain't going nowhere. If you want to come and, 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 and see what I'm doing, bring your equipment. Bring, I'll testing, bring equipment. your testing equipment. Your five dollars voltmeter. Might as well bring that with you. You know that's the big equipment you have for debunking everything. We don't see anything else in your place. <laughs> so, so, uh, but yeah. This is a friendly challenge, though. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely friendly challenge, right? So I mean, like you know, you can come here and we'll run the stuff, and you can take us. Five dollar meter and test everything up, and then he can go home. But he will be, you know, we'll be filming that. So when he walk out of there with his with, with his jaw dropping on the ground, walking out of there, then we can put down YouTube. So here's the challenge. I challenge a lot of people. No one's knocking at my door. You know, because they're all the same thing. Oh, I don't know about that. Like you know, it all scares shit. So you know, cowards to the highest level. Catch you later, man.